Hi, I'm Kristen Kohler. I'm a nurse practitioner at Johns Hopkins Division of Gastroenterology. I'm here today with Christine Hill. She's a medical student at Georgetown University Medical School and Dr. Vivek Kumbari. He's the Director of Bariatric Endoscopy at Johns Hopkins Medicine. We are here today to discuss the recently published article, Endoscopic Sleeve Gastroplasty versus High Intensity Diet and Lifestyle Therapy, a case match study uh, out of Johns Hopkins Medical Institution. Welcome, you guys. We would also like to thank GIE for the opportunity to discuss this study. Uh, so Dr. Kumbari, can you please explain what the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty is? Yeah, thank you. So the endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty is a, a single day procedure, an outpatient procedure, but takes anywhere between 60 to 75 minutes. It involves a suturing apparatus, the Apollo overstitch attached to a double channel therapeutic gastroscope, inserted per oral into the stomach, and refashioning the stomach, essentially taking it from a large expandable compliant bag to a stiff non-compliant lumen and uh, by doing this you reduce gastric volume decrease the compliance of the stomach and helps you promote uh, hopefully a, a lower uh, opportunity for oral intake as time goes on which will you know you hope will translate into weight loss thank you so can you explain what high intensity diet and lifestyle therapy consists of christine sure High intensity diet and lifestyle therapy is a series of individualized um, counseling sessions that patients go through um, with multidisciplinary professionals that focus on diet, uh, physical activity, and behavioral modifications with the overarching goal of weight loss. So why did you guys decide to do this study? Well, when patients come to consider any endoscopic intervention or surgical intervention, it's really important for them to be able to compare the predicted outcomes of that intervention to a non-invasive approach. And our hypothesis was, of course, that endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty would produce um, greater total body weight loss over time than high intensity diet and lifestyle therapy. However, there was no research out there comparing the two. So we did the study in order to just begin to make that comparison. Great, so can you summarize how the study was performed and what was found? Sure, um, so we examined 105 patients that underwent um, endoscopic sleep gastroplasty and compared them to 281 patients that underwent um, high intensity diet and lifestyle therapy. Both groups of patients were seen at Johns Hopkins and um, the groups were case matched on um, age, sex, and baseline BMI. And then we looked at their weight at one, three, six, and 12 months um, post-procedure and then post-initiation of high-intensity diet and lifestyle therapy. And what we found was that at all of the time points that we examined, the patients in the ESG cohort achieved greater total body weight loss. Um, specifically at 12 months, the patients in the ESG cohort achieved about 21% um, on average and, of total body weight loss, and the patients in the high-intensity diet and lifestyle therapy group achieved uh, 14%. Um, and we also looked at adverse events, and there was less than 5% of the patients in the ESG cohort experienced any adverse event. Um, only two of the adverse events required um, admission to the hospital, and all of them were resolved in under 48 hours. Um, and there was no adverse events in the uh, high-intensity diet and lifestyle category. Amazing. Um, so what other research could be done on this topic? So actually, right now, the Mayo Clinic is doing a similar study, but they're doing a large prospective study um, comparing the same two treatment groups. And that research won't be available for maybe a couple years, but we're really excited for when it does come out, um, it's gonna just shed more light on this comparison. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to discuss this and for your interest in this study.